My next update has to do with a shift in American politics. You know, the big corporations having been able to kind of stymie the federal government between the Republicans and the Democrats and back and forth. Very little gets done up there, as most of you have noticed. And what is beginning to happen is that the labor movement demanding the way these railroad workers are, the kind of attention and the kind of support they should have been getting for a long time, are beginning to shift their focus away from a, a, a blocked, unable to act federal government. They're going lower, and not to the states, but to the municipalities. A stunning recent activity exemplified when the city of Los Angeles passed a special group of ordinances governing restaurant and other workers in Los Angeles, improving their pay, improving their job security. There, there was an alliance between a progressive machine in the local city and its supporters and the labor movement, and they got the kind of progressive legislation that the government in Washington is blocked from doing one way or another. And there's a lesson there for progressives and the labor movement. If you get together, you may be able to do at the municipal level all kinds of things that are not available with the power of money concentrated as it is on the federal and state governments. The cities in this country, if we got together and pushed it, could use something called eminent domain. That is a legal right every city has to seize property, to take property that is in the view of the city, not in the general interest of the population, force the owner to sell it at a legally determined market price, and take it over. The cities could do that, saying that an empty store, a closed store, simply because workers want a union level of support, is a social interest, and the city has an interest in having stores that are well-maintained, workers well-paid, and so forth. The city could then take the restaurant once it closed and say to the workers, okay, now it's yours. It's a worker co-op. The city owns it. We will allow you to pay over time so it becomes yours. Call it a rent if you like. Call it a payment plan, if you like, it really doesn't matter. The workers would keep their jobs. The community would keep its uh, Chipotle-type store. And the workers would become entrepreneurs just like that overnight. And you know what? It would make a lot of corporations think a lot longer and a lot harder before they close their stores if it meant that they might lose them.